Yo, what is up guys? My name is Red Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about how to optimize Apex Legends for Season 7 on PC as well as we're going to be talking a little bit about Steam as well as on console, a little bit of hints and tips and tricks that you guys can use. And yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, I am a Twitch streamer. I stream every day at Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. I've been playing Apex Legends Season 7 since it came out and it's actually a ton of fun. I'm playing a mixture of legends and stuff like that horizon's awesome if you guys would like to play with me come on by the link will be in the description below and we are grinding rank right now so we're grinding for gold out of gold right now um but yeah it's gonna get lit and if you guys would like to join the discord as well be sure to check the description below a lot of uh, active members in there and we're definitely like always chilling and having fun goofing off in the meme section and stuff so definitely go go free to do that all right guys so before we get into Apex, uh, we're going to go to our Windows key real quick. And we're going to type um, game mode. And we're going to make sure this is off. I find that game mode off gives me the best performance. Um, so yeah, make sure to do that. And then uh, as far as uh, captures go, make sure this is off as well. And game bar is off as well. And just make sure that that is off and just, yeah. Just enjoy that because that sometimes really does get in the way. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your Windows key again and type GPU. And you're going to want to make sure that you're on the latest update Windows so that you can see this. If you're not on the latest uh, Windows update, uh, you might not see this option. So I would definitely recommend going to Windows and updating so you can see this. And then making sure that this is on. Um, once you've done that, what you want to do is you'll want to go to browse and what you'll want to do is this is the steam library one but go to where um your client is installed in sometimes it's in origin sometimes it's in steam depending on whichever one you use i have both of them installed for some reason i don't know anyway go to steam for this one and make sure to go to steam apps after you click the steam library go to common Go to Apex Legends and then hit add. I've already added it. It's right here. So I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to go, once I've added it, I'm going to go to options. And instead of having let Windows decide, because why would we have that? We're going to go hit high performance, save, bam. And now it's saved. Now, if you have Origin, what you want to do is the same place. If you go to Steam Library, uh, uh, the place where you have it installed, you want to go to origin apex and click um add and that's it pretty simple pretty simple straightforward all right guys so if you guys want the best and most optimized gpu graphics card settings what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into the description of this video there's screenshots of the actual best settings for you guys there as well as anything else that you'll need um, to get the best optimized settings as well as links to how to update your graphics card if you guys don't know how um, for NVIDIA, uh, for Intel, and for AMD. So be sure to check out the description below. If you guys already have the most up-to-date uh, graphics drivers, the last thing that I would suggest is going to your Windows key and typing power and sleep settings, going to additional power settings, and making sure that uh, instead of power saver, you have um, ultimate performance or high performance. If you don't have ultimate performance enabled, there's a string of text in the description of this video that what you want to do is you want to go to con um, your Windows key again, go to command prompt, and then copy paste that string into here. What it will do, it'll add the power scheme of ultimate performance. I'm not going to add it because every time that I do copy paste it in there, and every time I press enter to show an example on the for these videos that I do, um, it adds another power scheme. So that's why I have like five of them here. So that's why I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, just trust me, it, it's lit. Uh, and if you have uh, Ryzen, a Ryzen CPU of any sort, you can go to Ryzen Master um, and go to Google and look up Ryzen Master. I'll have a description, I'll have a link in the description below for Ryzen Master. You can launch that up. Um, there is a warning about it, though. If, um, you know, something isn't done correctly, that's not on me and it's not on Ryzen. Um, 
because it says it right there literally it's a disclaimer all right so once you've downloaded rise master what you want to do is you'll want to go to the control mode and go to auto oc and then that'll auto overclock your cpu and it's really good if, especially if you have like you know a liquid cooler or something like that but you want to do apply and then apply and test after and then uh, that will restart your pc so make sure that you know you're not doing anything important or anything like that make sure you save your work and then hit apply and test um so like i said this is really good especially if you have a ryzen cpu so it'll do just like auto overclocking for you it's pretty lit um so let's get into apex already and yeah let's get into it i already got disconnected poggers um so once we've gotten uh, Apex launched up, what we'll want to do is we'll want to go to game menu, go to settings, and then as far as gameplay goes, what you want to do, I, th I think a lot of like really high end players and a lot of people in general use these settings. Uh, if you guys would like to just pause the video and just go through this shortly, you guys can. I use uh, compact to see less text clutter, uh, take off button hits. Uh, crosshair damage feedback we take that off because it allows us to track a lot better it basically just removes a lot of like feedback for when we hit people uh, damage numbers stacking or floating this is all um, preference I use stacking uh, ping opacity a lot of people don't talk about this but it's faded I use faded because it um, allows me to see a lot better because like in this game you don't necessarily need a microphone and a lot of people ping stuff and it clutters up your screen so much so i use faded so that it gets out of my way and stuff like that sometimes you can take obituaries off if you don't like to see all the kill feed sometimes i have it off so i keep it on most of the time but sometimes i have it off um minimap rotation off uh weapon auto cycle on super clutch sometimes i use auto sprint that's subjective so if you don't use auto sprint that's up to you but I use auto sprint, uh, double tap to sprint off, um, incoming damage feedback, 3D. I'm not really too sure. I think that's uh, depending on where you're getting shot from and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, and then really the most important one, taking damage closest death box menu. This is really important to have this off because if you need to clutch open armor swap, this is going to be huge to basically have off because um, if you were like in someone's death box, uh, you won't get kicked out of it for taking just a tiny bit of damage. Uh, the other thing that I would recommend is just having everything basically off except for... I don't really know about the hop up pop-up thing. don't think it really matters too much. I want to actually turn that off. Is uh, having usage sharing off because this sends data to EA. Um, and I would just recommend having it off so you know, you're not using up your network uh, in case you know internet is an issue for you. Performance display, I keep this on so I know how much FPS I'm getting. And then accessibility, this is up to you. Uh, for video, we're going to go to display mode. We're going to keep this on full screen. This gives us the best amount of performance. Aspect, aspect ratio, we're going to use 16 by 9. This is native to our monitor. So use what's native to your monitor. If you need more FPS, you can turn this down to 4 by 3. And then use this on super sweaty resolutions or 16 by 10. And use this even on lower resolutions. So if you're struggling, but you want like still to use native resolutions, you can change this to 1600 by 900. This is 900p and even lower, go to 720p. So that changing your resolution will give you higher FPS. Uh, brightness, this is up to you. Field of view, um, anything past 90 uh, may impact your performance. So that's one thing that um, I didn't know about. So if you guys are really struggling, you can change your field of view to 90 and keep it there. Or you can even lower it to like 70-ish. But I'd recommend keeping it uh, to 110 because it lets you see the most. But if you're really struggling, drop it down to like 70. Um, I'm actually going to try 90 because I want to see because like I've heard that like lower FOV means everything's bigger, which means that um, things are just easier to hit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that out. We'll, we'll figure that one out. Um, VSync, we're going to keep this disabled. Basically, what disabled means is it matches the FPS that you can output to your monitor. So if you have a 144 hertz monitor, which most people do, um, you can only get 144 hertz. This is really good, so it keeps your GPU using less of its memory and also basically keeps your CPU using less of its um, power. 
uh, so means less stuttering. If you guys have like really good computers, I'd say I have a really good computer. I you can use triple buffered, which means that it uncaps your FPS. So if you're not afraid to get your CPU using higher um, percentages or your GPU to use higher percentages, use triple buffered. You'll basically get like really just smooth uncapped FPS. So pretty nice. And I'll show you guys that in an example in the um, in a, a little while to come. Uh, the other thing to do if you're really struggling to get like 60 FPS or something like that is to use adaptive resolution FPS. Uh, this will change the um, VRAM usage and a whole bunch of settings like just to achieve 60 FPS. So trust me, your game might get you might get 60 FPS, but your game might look like shit. So before you try that one, try setting everything to low. All you want to do is anti-aliasing the non texture streaming budget to two to three. Um, what this one does really, honestly, if unless you're using like high settings, you'll want to just keep it slow. Um, there's no real reason to use higher um, RAM, uh, especially, I mean, I, I know like most cards now, they can handle it, but trust me, if you're not using high resolution um, settings, then don't worry about it. Uh, bilinear, I use that for texture filtering, ambient inclusion, uh, quality disabled. Everything else basically is just on low except for my model detail. The reason why I use model detail on medium is because since I do stream every day, Twitch TV slash Red Cloud, nice plug, I know. Um, you'll want to have this on medium or high so that your character, other characters, things in the world, as well as in general, you know, your guns and stuff like that don't look like hot garbage. So keep this on medium or high. This one doesn't really impact too much, but if you are struggling, like I said, just keep this on low or medium. Um, that is about it, guys, for as far as the best settings go. Be sure to hit apply. And yeah, this these settings, I promise you, especially on the field of view changes and stuff like that, will yield a ton of FPS. Um, and if you, like I said, want uncapped FPS, and I'll show you guys that in a moment, uh, you'll want to use the game on triple buffered. And then triple buffered, like I said, will allow you to um, get uncapped results. So above me right now is my FPS. I'm at a consistent 164. Um, and it does not change whatsoever while I'm playing on these settings. And on a 165 hertz monitor, I mean, feels really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why I picked that up, but... Yeah, dude, like for me personally, I think uh, the game just feels so much better now that like I've been playing it this season because before like I really struggled to get like even 100 FPS, especially when I was on like a lower end PC, but that was like when the game first came out. So it's definitely a really good thing to see that like, you know, the game has changed profusely and I don't know, I just feel like the game has definitely made really good steps towards, uh, you know, just improving its overall like performance and stuff like that. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was, um, I'm going to go back to 110, but, uh, going to triple buffered. So I'll hit apply on that and then you can see my FPS right now. It goes to 240, stuff like that around there it it uncaps so it does flex a bot a lot but yeah just like 220 and stuff so yeah pretty sick um i hope you guys enjoy the video and uh yeah i hope to see you guys at my streams twitch tv slash red cloud like i said i'm climbing out of gold right now so if you guys would like to play with me uh even carry me or give me some hit and some tips and tricks of my own i'd seriously appreciate that um and yeah be sure to join the discord we are active on there as well and you know feel free to like this video let's try and get like 10 likes on this video and um thank you guys so much for 425 subs uh 420 by the way um thank you guys again seriously it's been a lot of support it motivates me a lot to keep making videos and you know just keep chasing my dream and stuff like that so hope you guys have a great day thank you guys for watching this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out